I have logged into Scratch and clicked on Create Project. So on the left side, under the code corner, we see all the available categories. In the last tutorial, we looked at the Move, Turn, and Go To blocks. Let us start with the Glide blocks today. First one is Glide to Block. Let me drag it to the code area. By default, it says glide one second to random position. You are basically saying a sprite to move to another location and take the given number of seconds to finish the move. Click on the drop down and you can see three different options. First is go to random position which means the sprite can go to any random position on the stage. And it should take one second to do that move. Let's try that. There we go. Did you notice the difference between this block and the go-to blocks we have seen in the previous tutorial? Yes, we can control the speed of the sprite by giving the number of seconds it should take to make that move. You can try it out by increasing the number of seconds and see the sprite slows down as it moves. Do you get it now? So it is taking two seconds now to move instead of one. You can change the number of seconds based on how fast you want your sprite to move. That's so awesome! Alright, the next option we have here is go to mouse pointer. Let's try this. There we go! So, the last option is to glide to any other sprite in the project. Let me add a new sprite. Okay. Okay. Now when you go back to the drop down, you can see the new sprite listed in the options. Let us select the bread option from the list. Now try it out. Now you can see the cat gliding to the bread. The next glide block is glide to X and Y. This is similar to the glide block we saw, but we are specifying the exact position where the sprite should go. You specify the X and Y values and also the number of seconds it should take to get to that position. Let's try to do the same with this block to make the cat go to the bread. We can see the bread is at the position X and Y shown here. Let's give the same values in our glide block. We are basically saying the cat move to the specific X and Y position and take one second to get there. Let's try! 
There we go. Nice. Moving on, the next one we have is the point in direction block. This block points the sprite in the specific direction that you chose. When you click on the number, it shows the circle to choose the direction. Pick the direction and let us try to run it. Hmm, this is really hard work. Okay, there we go. Our cat is pointing in the same direction as we want it to. As we move the direction, we can see the cat pointing towards the same direction. Okay, cool. The next one is point towards block. Let me drag it to the scripts area. This is the same as the previous point block where we specify the sprite to point it in a certain direction. Click on the drop down to see the options. You can see the mouse pointer as the first option. We are basically saying to point our sprite in the same direction as the mouse pointer. Let's try it. There we go. We can see the cat pointing to the mouse. Get it? Okay. So the next option in the drop down showing is another sprite. We already have bread here, so select the bread option and try it out. There are cat go to the bread. If we have more sprites in our project, all those sprites will show up in this drop down list. And we can use this block to make our sprite glide to any other sprite. All right, next we have change X by block. This will change the position of the sprite horizontally by a specified amount. Let me clear the screen and let me drag this block to the code area. By the way, if you need to remove any blocks, you can just right click and delete the block or simply drag it back to the blocks area. Anyway, now get the change X by 10 and try it out. This will move our sprite forward 10 steps horizontally. You can change the value to negative 10 and this will move the sprite backwards horizontally. Similarly, if you want to make your sprite change position vertically, you can use the similar block to change the Y position drag the change y by 10 we can change the number to let's say 20. try it out see you can see the sprite going up you can change the value by negative 20 and you can see the sprite going down no way there's more the next one in the list is if on edge bounce. The block checks to see if our sprite is touching the edge of the screen when it is moving. And if it is on the edge of the screen, this block will make it bounce and go upside down and go backwards. Let's try something. So let us make our cat keep moving so it will reach the edge of the stage. Let's think what we need to do to do that. Yes, we need the move block. And also, we need to keep the move block inside the forever loop. We are saying the cat to keep moving time steps forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Let us run it.
This is making our sprite move off the stage. So let's add this new block. Now to say that the sprite should bounce back if it's on the edge, let me add after the move block so every time it moves, the code will check if the sprite is on the edge. If yes, it will bounce it back. Let's run it. There we go. Nice. It makes our sprite, sprite bounce back every time it reaches the edge. But didn't you notice something? The sprite is turning upside down when it bounces back. Wow. Hmm. I don't need to cry. I think maybe we can try making a code to do that. That's when we need our next block to come in handy. That is the set rotation style block. If you see the drop down, you will see the drop down. And if you click on it, there will be three different options. Rotate left to right. Do not rotate and rotate all around. All around. Let's try each of these options and see what it does. Let me drag it right after the bounce block. Let us see the first option. Left, right, and run. And let's run it. See, that fixed our rotation. We are saying that when it rotates, it can only face left or right. So if it is already facing left, this block will change its direction to right. And if the sprite is facing right, this block will change the sprite direction to left. Nice! The next option is don't rotate. Obviously, it means it will face the same way with no rotation. And the final option is all around, which means the sprite can face any direction as it rotates. Okay. See? It's rotating all around. Now we have our final three blocks. Here, X position, Y position, and the direction. These blocks hold the sprite's position and direction. So X position will hold, hold the sprite's X value, which is the sprite's horizontal location on the stage. Y position will hold the sprite's Y value, which is the sprite's vertical location on the stage. And direction will hold the sprite's current direction. And when you select the check boxes here, it will show check. And these values are shown on the stage. We can use these values in our programs as needed. We can go into details of using these as we learn other blocks. For now, remember that these will hold the sprite's current position and direction. And there's one more thing. It will help you learn. And you can also see the values for changing X and Y as we move the sprite. And the value for direction is changing as well. Great! This finishes the overview of all the motion blocks. Let's review! Awesome, friends! We, we completed the whole entire motion category. Okay, let's review! We learned how to make the spread glide. We learned how to make the spread point in directions. 
We also learned how to make the sprite bounce off the edge. Went upside down. Right? Okay, I want you all to try out all these awesome blocks and play around with these and connect the blocks together to see what animations they make. So, we're gonna make an animation using the motion blocks since we completed all the motion blocks. That's a congratulation. Until then, keep exploring the motion blocks. I'll see you later, coders.